I was, I had, I lived the American dream. I had credit cards down to the street. Now I have, I've come down here to see what real life is. And it's, and, and if it, it, it is true, uh, uh, somebody called me good. A uh, God raises up good men many times. So I hope I don't have to fall again and learn this to go again. <laughs> <laughs> I live on the street, and I'll pick up cans to buy blue jeans, blue jean jackets. I'll take them over on Manchester Center. My name is Lucky Lappy. Where are you from? From Chicago. And uh, where do you live? Do you live on the streets? No place. My name is Jim. I just got here on Christmas Eve because when I came, from, I came from Litchfield, Illinois, and when I came to St. Louis. It's not enough jobs to where I found out that, you know, the job market is not open like it's supposed to be. You know, it's a lot of temp agencies, but a lot of temp places don't have jobs like in the wintertime for employees. Most of their jobs are like in the summertime. But they do have jobs in the winter for people, but it's like one or two days. And people really can't survive off of one or two days, like get housing and stuff for just two days worth of work. so many condos in the city of St. Louis, they eliminated affordable houses for what they call us the work poor. I've been here for about two years. Uh, I used to work, but I got injured and uh, waiting on disability. It's been a little over a year now. A lot of homelessness does not have a days off. People have days off and their business is closed, especially day centers for the homeless. And we're stuck out on the weekends with nowhere to go, no food to eat. The police are harassing the people that come and feed because they don't have permits from the health department. And most of the time they come to feed us and the police show up and they run them off and we get nothing to eat. The reason why I'm homeless is because I lost my job. You know what I'm saying? And it's been hard. I, I ain't gonna lie now. I do got a couple of felonies, but I've been putting in applications and stuff, it just ain't been calling. And from Larry Rice, man, I've been, I've been messed up on the streets right now. The people, the people treat us well, but the, 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 the you know, the everyday people that pass us by who judge us, you know, they frown up at us. But the people like you who get involved with us and stuff like that, and who get to know that we are very extraordinary people, they love us. They really need to look at the situation that's downtown, or about the loft that's being built around here, and try to assist it. You know, it doesn't have to be uh, for as money, sending donations or something like that, you know, maybe funding to help somebody get off the streets, you know, help build a shelter or something, anything like that. There should be a balance in the economy and in, in housing. It should be, the city should be available for any citizen who wants to live in the city of St. Louis. You should not have to be rich only to live here, but you should be welcome here because it's a citizen. My wife committed adultery against me, and I left my home in Baldwin. Out on the streets, and it's just rough out here. You stand out here around people, and people is just people. You know, you got good people, and you have bad people. And you have to make up your mind: is hang with the good people or hang with the bad people? Yeah, I believe in the word of God. Okay, I believe that God to ever love the world. He sent His only begotten Son. Jesus Christ died for everybody, but everybody don't know it. I don't got no education, I don't need to land a job, so I pick up cans. A lot of times when the, when the pastor gives a message to the congregation, he's putting a seed in the people's hearts to go out and, and preach that message that, that he gave to them. Instead, the congregation harbors that seed, goes home and watches TV, 
and forgets to come out and share the message with us. It's time for the church to wake up. If I can, if I, if I can ask God anything, I would ask him to let me be an example so that my trial may be over. God, please give me about all this. Get me out of the situation that I am in. Bring me love. 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 In Jesus' name. Please bring me love. Anyone, help me out. In Jesus' name.